Good morning, my friends. It is July 14th, 6.40 a.m. And it is 73 degrees outside. <laughs> Let's go check out the garden. Had some severe heat and I went a couple days without watering. Some of my plants are kind of dying. I watered them last night. I'm so thankful to see them perking back up. Exciting to get some of our first tomatoes. This tomato plant is ready for some more support. I need to get something for it. Oh, I'm so thankful. All of these plants were very wilted last night and I watered them. I was wondering if I'd ever get a cucumber. And I have one. The question is, when should I harvest it? Tell me in the comments, should I harvest it today? I might wait a couple days, see what happens. I'm thinking of, um, I'm gonna relieve this plant of its pepper so that it can focus its energy on survival <sighs> because that plant was not looking good. Here's some these plants were all wilted last night when I watered and I was so hoping they would make it there looking good. I'm so thankful. Got some of my first marigolds popping up. I definitely need marigolds to get some pollinators over here. My uh, sunflowers are getting nice and tall and my green beans are vining up pretty tall as well. This whole area here, I'm planning on cutting the plants and I'm planning on putting stepping stones all around in this area and that way all of my watermelon can vine out. Let's look at how our watermelon are doing. When I water them, I get concerned for them because they start to wilt. Let me set these down. I'm gonna pull these mushrooms out. The mushrooms are a sign of good soil, but I'm choosing to remove them anyway. I don't want my kids thinking they're food and getting sick. Even though I've told my kids not to ever eat mushrooms, they see. Let's see, do I need to thin this some more? Tell me in the comments. I'm gonna go ahead and... My thought is they may naturally thin themselves a little more if the heat kills some of them off and I don't wanna end up with zero. But I think this is maybe too many. <sighs> Let's see. We're going to just see what happens and then I'll do some more thinning later if I need to. But yeah, we're going to have some watermelon it looks like. Let me show some, show you some more of the garden. My grape plant is growing, 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 which is exciting. Um, but something has been biting it up. Tell me in the comments what you think might be biting my plant. Hmm over here have not been impressed by the heat at all but that's okay I have my cantaloupe are popping up where I planted them so I'm gonna have cantaloupe vining out here so if some of these plants don't make it that's actually perfect because that's where my cantaloupes will vine out too so they would probably end up taking up the space anyway hopefully um these will maybe get me some beans. My sugar snap peas are surprising me how long they've survived. This is my thornless blackberry plant. I've been wondering if I'm gonna have any potatoes at all, but it looks like my potatoes are doing all right. I got potatoes and this is a weed. Okay, got potatoes, carrots, some beans couple sunflowers see what happens and outside is supposed to be good for you especially when the weather's nice I'm wondering if I'm even gonna get potatoes in here because I had some potatoes that like <laughs> I don't even know if the plants are gonna come to fruition but we got tons of carrots for sure oh gosh sugar snap pea cool my garden's saying thank you for watering us we like surviving. All right, here's a blueberry plant. Blueberry bush. 
little blueberry bush. My hope for these blueberry bushes is that they'll live many years to come. We'll see what happens. I'm looking forward to having sunflowers and green beans and cucumbers. Um, so they, apparently oregano doesn't mind the heat, but celery definitely prefers cold weather. Another sugar snap pea. Looking good. Thanks for checking out the garden with me.